Now to the landmark agreement for women's sports. The men's and women's U.S. national soccer teams will now receive equal pay. The U.S. is the first soccer federation in the world to set the policy, which includes equal prize money for men and women, including at World Cups. As CNN's Bryn Gingras reports, it's been a long fight for equal pay for the women of U.S. soccer. It's a game-changing deal. I am just so incredibly proud of what we've achieved. In a new contract, U.S. soccer women and men's player associations agreeing to equal pay for all players. This is just a really historic moment um, that will hopefully lead to meaningful changes and progress, not only here at home in the U.S., but around the world. Both men and women will now get around $450,000 a year. Commercial and event revenue will be divvied up. The team's also shaking hands on sharing World Cup prize money, a first of any soccer organization in the world. That part of today's agreement especially notable. As the women's team clinched the last two World Cups, four overall, the men haven't won yet, but were still making more money just for playing. The women's 2015 win netted less than $2 million, while the men made more than $5 million, losing in the round of 16 the year before. That propelled a movement for equal pay captured in the CNN film LFG. We heard people chanting. Equal pay! Equal pay! Equal pay! Oh my gosh, that's when I felt the movement. Equal pay! All right, it's not just us, but it looks as if the world is on our side. Today's deal is the culmination of that battle between the U.S. Soccer Federation and prominent members of the U.S. women's team who filed a federal wage complaint in 2016 and a gender discrimination lawsuit in 2019. Every time a woman is not paid equally, sort of everyone is not and, and nobody's potential is able to be reached. Players settled the suit earlier this year for $24 million. It is a huge win for us, for women's sports, for women in general, um, and it's a moment that we can all celebrate. The men's team backed the women's efforts in that lawsuit, and today player Walker Zimmerman saying... Sure, there was a potential chance of making less money, no doubt about it. Um, but we also believe so much in the women's team. We believe in uh, the whole premise of equal pay. and. Ultimately, that was a big driving force for us. This comes at a pivotal time as the men head to Qatar later this year for the 2022 World Cup. The hope is this deal sets precedent in international sports and beyond.